how to roll back deployment in Azure DevOps. If you're working with Azure DevOps and wondering how to roll back a deployment that didn't go as planned, you're in the right place. Let's break down the steps to help you revert to a previous stable state. First, it's important to understand that Azure DevOps provides several ways to handle failed deployments. One of the most useful features is the ability to automatically redeploy a previous successful deployment. To start, you can use Azure Resource Manager ARM templates to manage your deployments. If a deployment fails, you can use the rollback on error parameter to redeploy the last successful deployment. For example, using Azure CLI, you can add this parameter to your deployment command as deployment group create name example deployment dash resource group example group file storage dot json parameters storage account type equals standards rollback on error this command will automatically redeploy the last successful deployment if the current one fails if you need to roll back to a specific previous deployment you can specify the name of that deployment for instance, using PowerShell, new A's resource group deployment name example deployment 02 dash resource group name resource group name dash template file C, my templates Azure deploy.json, rollback deployment name example deployment 1. This will redeploy the specific deployment named example deployment 1 if the current deployment fails. Another approach is to use Azure DevOps pipelines to manage your deployments. Here, you can leverage the Deployment History feature to track and revert deployments. The Deployment History log lists all past deployments, including details like who performed the deployment, what items were deployed, and any notes added during the deployment process. This can be very helpful in identifying the exact deployment you want to roll back to. To revert an Azure Data Factory ADF deployment specifically, you would follow these steps. Identify the commit hash of the previous version you want to revert to. Create a new branch from the main branch in your Git repository. Revert the commit in the new branch. Push the new branch. And then create a new release pipeline to deploy the new branch to your ADF instance. This process essentially undoes the changes made in the previous commit and restores the previous state of your pipeline. In addition, you can set up automatic rollback in your Azure DevOps pipelines. This involves configuring your pipeline to trigger a rollback if a deployment fails. You can use the on.failure part of your pipeline to trigger a new run that sets the necessary parameters for the rollback. This ensures that if a deployment fails, the pipeline automatically reverts to the last known good configuration. By using these methods, you can effectively manage and roll back deployments in Azure DevOps, ensuring your infrastructure remains stable and functional even in the event of a failed deployment.